Dear students, welcome to my video classes. This is Mr. Meir Sinan. In this video, I am going to discuss on the introduction to microeconomics relating to the syllabus of DSM and IDC economics for BA for semester students. Dear students, you know that economics is a subject emerged as a social science after the publication of the book of Adam Smith that is known as the Wealth of Nation or you may say Wealth of Nation which was published in the year 1776 Wealth of Nation published in the year 1776 where he meant to say that economics is a science of wealth economics he defined that economics as a science of wealth as a science of wealth it is indicates that it indicates that accumulation of or you may say collection of wealth he meant to say that economics is a subject which deals with the um, activities of human beings relating to the collection or accumulation of wealth in narrow sense wealth means money so um, different philosophers criticized different in different weather it will be subject, it will teach us selfishness, it may teach us love of money. So, and so they have criticized in different way. Accordingly, Adam Smith's definition becomes um, narrow, uh, one of the narrower definition of economics. After him, another economist named Professor Alfred Marshall, who came in front with a definition in his book, Principles of Political Economy. In his book, Principles of Political Economy, published in the year 1890, published in the year 1890, in which he said that economics is a science of wealth on the one side. But on the other side, it is a science of welfare. He meant to say that without wealth, welfare is impossible. He meant to say that without wealth, sorry, without wealth, welfare is impossible. Con on the contrary, without welfare, wealth is also meaningless means wealth and welfare are two interdependent concepts one has no meaning without the existence of another so he defined economics in the way that it is a study of mankind in the ordinary business of life means dainandin jibone amra je kaj karme byasto thaki jaha aay ebong bay somporkito but by saying that, he also said that it examines that part of individual and social action. Individual and social action that must be related to the attainment of material requisite of well-being. Material requisite of well-being. material Goods means, in economics, goods means anything which has the capacity to fulfill our wants. If it doesn't have any wants, if the goods doesn't have the capacity to fulfill our wants, then that are not going to be goods in economics. So in economics, whatever goods we have studied, all are maybe called to be wealth. Shabta ki wealth bolte pari, because goods means those have utility and scarcity all the goods are included in economics 
goods having utility but doesn't have scarcity then that are not called to be economical they are excluded from economics from the subject matter of economics so whatever goods we are studying all are may be considered to be wealth or economic goods so here around Aristotle Marshall mean to sell whatever our activities that must be related to the attainment of material requisite of value means जाए जब पल्ला ने कथा बोला है जैसे तब रब्बो शंपर की तब पल्ला ने कथा बोला है शेवा शंपर की तब पल्ला ने कथा उन्हें लिख पर नहीं इन इस डेफिनेशन ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स और था उन्हें डेफिनेशन क्या है क्या लो पार्शियल है कंप्लीट पल्ला का मिश्र गालो कंप्लीट पल्ला का मिश्र गाल कर एंड द सर्विस just like teacher, services of a teacher provides us knowledge, services of a doctor provides us advices to be to remain healthy. Services of a lawyer helps us gives us helps us to protect legally. These are the different Things which also these are the services which also generates wealth and for which we need to pay. But he excluded these matters in economic, from his definition of economics. That is the reason this definition remains defective and incomplete. But he first updated the concept of economics, which was improved the concept of subject matter of economics which was in the early stage of the study of Adam Smith criticized by many philosophers. After him another economist came who is known as modern economist named Lionel Robbins. In his book an essay on the nature and significance of economic science defined economics is a study of human behavioral science. He mean to say that it deals with the relationship between ants and scarcities having alternative uses. That is an essay on the nature an essay on the nature and significance of significance of economic science which was published in the year 1932 in his book he defined economics is the science human behavioral science which relates to the words ants and scarce means having alternative uses scarce means having alternative uses means bolte amra buji means bolte amra buji sampad pao pai jadara amra amader obhab puron kora लेकिन एंड्स बोलते हैं बिजली से वांट्स एंड्स मींस वांट्स व्हिच आर एंडलेस व्हिच आर एंडलेस एंड्स वांट्स और ये में से डिजायर व्हिच आर एंडलेस एंड लेकिन स्कार्स मींस बोलते हैं means means in a cell wealth in narrower sense and scarce means limited scarce means limited means amader obhav ashin kintu sampad simit je sampader kotha bola hoyeche means that is wealth 
which have multiple users. Jamon, for example, lang. Amra ek jami ke vivinno kaje bebar korte pari. But at a plot jami ke amra vivinno kaje bebar korte pari na. Amra nidhisto ek kaje bebar korte pari. Jaban ek tige ek tige kaje bebar korbo tokhon ta onno onno bebar ase na. Or tha ek tige jami ke bebar onik rakam er ase. Kintu jokhon amra bebar korbo tokhon ek tige nidhisto kaje bebar korbo. Tokhon बाकी शब्द कुल के आमादे की पत्रा भें फर्गो पत्रा भें शेह समय रिजन में That is called the problem of economics और था आमादेर अभाव एतोई बेशी जे सम्पद जार प्रोईग विविन्न प्रोईग आछे शेह सम्पद दरा शेह सम्पद विविन्न प्रोईग थाकार कारणे शेह सम्पद की वाजा शिमित बाजा � असीम अभाव पूरण करा कौन है संभव इम्पॉसिबल एक टाइप टास्क सो टू मेक इट पॉसिबल वी नीड टू मेक चॉइस ऑफ पार्टिकुलर वांट अकॉर्डिंगली वी नीड टू मेक चॉइस ऑफ दी यूज़ ऑफ पार्टिकुलर यूज़ ऑफ रिसोर्सेस संपद के निर्दिष्ट एक टी काजे व्यवहार करते होंगे तो हम शेयर कास्टिंग की ताकि हमार संपद सीमित हो जाए तक ही की करते हैं चयस करते हैं उड टू मेक चयस अफ चयस अफ ए पार्टिकुलर वन टू फुलफिल एक निर्दिष्ट वर्तमान पसंद करें एज ए रिजल्ट इफ देर इज नो स्कारिटी जो स्कारिटी थे ना जब सम्पद जी सीम असीम होता हमारे पचंद प्रयोजन आई कारण स्कारिटी इज कल टू विदा रूट कज अफ इकोनमिक प्रब्लेम एंड चयस इज कल टू विदा प्रब्लेम हुईज एरज डि टू स्कारिटी दिस इज द बेसिक कन्सेप्ट अफ इकोनमिक्स यू नीड टू बी क्लियर ना I have prepared this text for you and you need to go through this text seriously so that you may cover the syllabus easily and score better. So what is the economic problem? It is a situation which arises due to scarcity of resources having alternative uses. That is the problem of choice in relation to unlimited ones. As a result, scarcity is called to be the root cause of economic problem, and the choice is the choice is also the economic problem arises due to scarcity. Once when we make choices, which are the concept, basic concepts, it is better to go through these things for your better understanding. I have prepared this. Now, when we make choices, we will face the problem. We will face a um, problem that is called opportunity cost. We always suffer with this type of cost. What is this opportunity cost? It is the cost of benefit that is forgotten to avail the another benefit, to avail benefit of another opportunity. Means when we are going to um, avail a particular opportunity, we have to left all other opportunities. Means say for example, when you use a plot of land for a particular purpose, say for example, Price. Then I have to forego other opportunities of wheat and sugar cane. These are called the opportunity cost which I have forgone. Because an individual having the given resources could not avail more than one opportunity. In sector land, ke jami ke ek एकाधिक क्या व्यवहार करा जाए एक निर्दिष्ट समय इट मीस यू हाव टू मेक चयस अफ ए पार्टिकुलर अपरचुनिटी टू एवे बट टू चयस दैट पार्टिकुलर अपरचुनिटी अलवेज मेक्स चयस अफ दि बेस्ट अपरचुनिटी बेस्ट एंड बेस्ट अपरचुनिटी सो आई हेव टेकन एन एक्साम्पल दैट इज फर एक्साम्पल A piece of land is used, may be used for production of rice, or production of wheat, or maybe production of 
sugar cane. Amongst these three, which one is best? I have to make a choice. Say for example, sugar cane is the best opportunity which, avail, which gives which may gain 30,000 worth. And if I produce wheat, then I, I may gain 24,000. If I produce rice, then I may gain 20,000. Amongst these opportunities, sugar cane is the best opportunity to avail. So if the farmer or if the producer avail the opportunity of sugar cane production, then he has to forego two remaining opportunities. Now, amongst these two remaining opportunities, which one is best opportunity? Next best. The next best opportunity is production of wheat, which cost rupees 24,000, which may gain rupees 24,000. This is the opportunity which the producer suffers from loss, losing this opportunity. So it is called to be the opportunity cost in economics. It means in economics, opportunity cost is that cost which is the next best opportunity for gun. This is the concept of opportunity cost and related to this concept, another concept is there, this is called to be the production possibility part or frontier. And so when producers are making choices of a particular opportunity, he has, he always makes some possibilities of the opportunities relating to the goods or services he is going to produce and that is defined as a graph that is defined as a graph shows the maximum possible output combinations of two goods or services an economy can achieve it means the possibilities may be abated with the help of the assumption that whatever resources a producer possess that must be fully and efficiently utilized and second assumption is that Technology which he used must remain same as before. He couldn't change the technology once he started the process of production. He couldn't change the technology. If he changed the technology, then he will face a greater loss, big loss. In that context, these two are called to be the assumptions of production possibility part. Now, it will be prepared on the help of a schedule table. That is, what are the possibilities, production possibilities? I have taken the examples of cotton and wheat. You may, a producer may make choices out of these possibilities. That is, if you like to produce only wheat, he has the opportunity of producing 15,000 quintals of wheat. And if you like to produce only cotton, then he has the maximum possible capacity is 5,000 quintals. If you like to produce both the, avail both the opportunities, then you have to stay amongst these opportunities, that is B, C, D and E. These are the post-production possibilities, which he prepared to make choices of a particular opportunity. This is called the production possibilities and if you craft it to draw the production possibility card, then it is graphed in this way. It is graphed in this way. When he is making choice of particular possibility that is A, where his cotton production is 0 and wheat production is 15,000 quintals maximum possible output and if you like to produce only cotton then this maximum possible output combination possibility possible output is 5000 quintal by joining these two points we have drawn a line that is called production possibility curve but when we draw this curve you can draw this as a straight downward sloping or you can draw it as a convex shape because once we are decided to produce both the possibilities, both the opportunities, then if you like to produce more of a particular commodity, then you have to produce less the other. But when you are sacrificing the other commodities compared to the possibility which you like to avail, 
you need to sacrifice the other opportunities the volume of or the quantity sacrificed is greater than the event that is the reason it takes the shape of a concave curve অর্থাৎ যখন সে একটি দ্রব্য বেশি উৎপাদন করতে চাইবে তখন অপর দ্রব্যটি তাকে কম উৎপাদন করতে হবে কিন্তু কম উৎপাদন করতে গিয়ে কি হয় তুলনায় বেশি কম উৎপাদন করতে হবে যেমন টু প্রডিউস ওয়ান থাউজেন্ড মোর কটন হি হ্যাজ টু প্রডিউস ফোরটিন থাউজেন্ড কুইন্টাল মিনস হি ইজ প্রডিউসিং ওয়ান থাউজেন্ড লেস আফটার দ্যাট when he like to increase the cotton to 2000 quintals he is sacrificing what 2000 quintals just like that when he is like to producing 3 quintals that means one more 1000 1000 more he has to sacrifice 3000 wheat in this way when he is going to produce more and more units of cotton he is sacrificing one more units of cotton he is sacrificing more than one unit of sweet that is the reason it takes the increasing cell concave cell means he is sacrificing at an increasing rate that is the reason it takes the shape of a concave car these are the two properties also these are the two properties of the production possibility car that is PPC slopes downward from left to right and PPC curve is from K towards the origin and it is these are the uses of PPC in economic analysis. In the next class I will discuss on the um, economic system, what are the different types of economic system. Um, thank you for today's video.